This is kick.com. You've probably seen countless videos on kick and just people from kick in general. You have very influential people like Jack Doherty, uh, Neon, uh, probably like Ice Poseidon, people like that, that stream on kick and oh and Aiden Ross <laughs> almost forgot the king let's stream on kick for one particular reason there are no rules there is a very big stereotype on kick that people that stream on kick are not good people which usually is the truth but the reason for that is because kick has such a lax uh, terms of service that you can pretty much do whatever you want unless you get to the point of killing someone on stream which, to be fair, now that I say that, that's basically happened on stream anyway, so maybe not. You probably can't get away with murder on kick. Now, I'm sure most of you know who EDP445 is. He is, like, the original YouTube Predator, and, like, he started the whole wave, basically. I think him being out of the Predator came out and, like, basically put an infection on YouTube that every other creator would end up being a pedophile. Because this year, we've had quite a few people, like Dr. Disrespect, uh, Ava Chris Tyson, a streamer called T Nichols, a bunch of people have been outed as pedophiles. Now today we're not going to be talking about YouTube pedophiles, but we're going to be talking about pedophiles in general. If you don't know what a pedophile is, come on. It's a overage person, a legal age person that has sexual attraction to a minor. Pretty much it. Now this whole predator catching phenomenon started loads and loads of years ago with the show called Chris Hansen Predator Catchers, or whatever it's called. Well, this guy, Chris Hansen, would go out in a professional sting operation to catch and put away predators. It was all shown on TV, it was all professionally done, the police were always involved. And they got away a lot of predators. Not sure if the show was fake or not, I don't think so, but if it wasn't, a lot of predators were put in jail because of that show. However, that show now has like kind of come back into the limelight because it's inspired a bunch of other people to do their own thing. Kind of vigilantism in predator catchers. New age predator catching might have been a word that you've been might have been a word that you heard thrown around on either like Twitter or TikTok or stuff like that. Because it's a new phenomenon where people on kick, by the way, this is not on like YouTube, sometimes Twitter, sometimes TikTok, but usually uh but usually kick. Where they'll go out and they'll do a whole, you know, sting thing, decloy account on like Grinder or whatever, and they'll catch predators. Now, usually, what would happen in something like Chris Hansen, the predator would come into the house, talk to the the, un the underage minor for a bit, and you know, confirm that it's the person. Then, what would happen is Chris Hansen would come out like the bathroom or another room with like all the documents in hand, all the screenshots of the chats and stuff like that, all the Snapchat screenshots, and they would come out confront the predator and say what the hell are you doing man what, what what are you saying in this you want to show your dingling to this 12 year old not cool dude and then eventually it would the episode would end in the predator being arrested by law enforcement now if we jump to the year of our lord 2024 it's kind of a different scenario predator catchers aren't really doing it for the right reasons now before i now, before I get into anything on the rest of this video, I want to preface, I think everything happening to these people, they deserve it. They are horrible monsters of people, and I think they deserve it. In no way in this video am I defending pedophiles, okay? Anyway, now what's happening instead of, you know, a calm interaction where Chris Hansen comes out all professional with the, the screenshots and the, you know, the evidence, what they do is these kick streamers will go up to these pedophiles and do the thing where they show all the evidence because they have to if not they're just beating up a random person and then they proceed to in a batman like fashion beat the shit out of them there are countless videos i'm not sure if i can show them on here i mean i'm not i don't worry about getting demonetized the whole thing is age restricted don't want that to happen if i can show them they'll be up on screen if i can't too bad so sad go to twitter and find them but these kick creators will come up I just beat the ever-living out of these pedophiles. They deserve it. However, this brings up an issue. They are the pedophiles are committing a crime, being a pedophile. However, the kick streamers are also committing a crime, assault, or assault and battery, whatever. And it comes to a point where they do this stuff and they beat up the pedophiles, 
and because of that, it jeopardizes the case and they can't bring it to police because they committed a crime in doing it. For example, like the police will come and for some reason in like the US and stuff like that, police treat pedophilia and like these child stuff as kind of like a lesser crime. And if you're doing a crime to a pedophile, you will probably be persecuted before the pedophile. And also the pedophile always has plausible deniability because screenshots, whatever. You do not have plausible deniability because you just beat up someone on camera. So... Also, streaming a crime is probably a crime, so, you know, not good as well. And I just want to preface, I already prefaced this at the beginning of the video. Do not do any of this. Do not go out and do your own predator catching. Leave it to law enforcement or the professionals. Not these f***ing idiots that go out and beat the shit out of people. Like, I keep seeing comparisons to, like, Batman and, like, how they treat these people. It's like in Arkham Knight where you go up to a group of thugs that were talking about Batman and you just beat all of them up and Batman teleports across the map to lock onto someone. It's kind of like this. I, I saw a video once of these predator catchers. I'm not sure if I can find it. If I can, it will be on screen. If I can't, whatever. Well, they found a predator. And they were walking with him a bit, hitting him here and there, slapping him, you know, the whole shebang. And then out of nowhere, a guy comes from out of frame, rugby tackles the guy, or football, because I guess it's America, fo rugby tackles him, I'm going to call it rugby tackle, into a pole, a support beam of a building, and breaks the support beam. You can see it bent in half. Like, hold on, like this. That's the middle of support beam, like that, it's bent. Because the guy got launched into it. Like, it's actually Batman level stuff of interrogation, <laughs> where they just beat him up. And these predators don't even confess half the time, they keep denying it, but they just get beat up. I've seen videos where, like, famous rappers, I think it was a uh, Little Pump, he went on a stream with uh, some people that were predator catchers, and just spat on someone. Just spat on the predator. I don't even think it was a predator. He just spat on a random guy because he thought it was the predator. So we've moved from beating up people to literally spitting on them. It's just like old timey public humiliation. Instead of hanging them in front of a group of people, which is what they used to do, we're publicly like shaming them and beating the shit for them on kick. We have truly evolved as a society, guys. This is this is the future. Now, unfortunately, there are a few issues with this. Since this is so popular and since this is out on the internet and it's getting a bunch of views, like these clips get a ton of interactions. I think it is only an inevitable amount of time before this stuff becomes fake, if it's not already fake. Once these predator catchers stop getting the reactions they want and stop getting the interactions they want from these predators because they wise up or whatever, they'll start faking them. And that's where it becomes an issue. If you're faking justice, it's like 10 steps back in good boy points. Because these guys, they're beating to them and they're on kick, so they're probably bad people. So maybe like two, three good boy points because they're still catching a criminal. However, once it becomes fake, the good boy points go away. And I feel like with if people like Jack Doherty and like uh, just other big kick creators like Aiden Ross start doing this, the window for it becoming fake and just for views will, like, really, really shorten. There are people like Skeet Hansen who do it properly and definitely don't fake it. I think there's a video on Jideon's channel where, he, like, he came back and did it. There was a whole weird thing with Jideon. He, he came really Christian for some reason. I'm not going to go into that. It's just really odd. But there are real predator catches out there. However... In the day and age of the internet, I do feel like these fake ones will take over. So, maybe it's for the best that we slow it down. Definitely not stop, because we shouldn't ever stop catching pedophiles. Because they're pedophiles. And, you know, I'm a kid. I don't want pedophiles running around. Not really my cup of tea, if you ask me. However, I think if it should be anyone, it shouldn't be these kick creators. Because they're kick creators. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, and don't be a pedophile. It's pretty easy. Just don't talk to little kids. Bye! Is that how you thought you was going to be caught tonight? That's a sleeper.